We're off to a great start and I appreciate everyone's effort in welcoming our students back to school. The start of school is always full of unexpected events and minor glitches, and this year we even threw in a solar eclipse for good measure. I appreciate your composure and professionalism in working through the start of the year issues and look forward to all of the great things to come this school year. As mentioned during our convocation, last year was full of distractions, many of which were extremely beneficial to the longevity of our school district. This year we must refocus on student learning and performance. To accomplish this, we must go back to the foundation of the instructional process, which are the priority standards we teach, the level of rigor in the standards, and the final products or assessments we will use to evaluate student learning of the standard. To design effective instruction, we cannot turn exclusively to the textbook. Rather, we must take the time to deeply analyze the standards we teach and the assessments we have designed locally to ensure these pieces are rigorous and aligned to Missouri expectations. After gaining this sense of what is expected in the standard and the rigor at which the standard is to be learned, we need to align our units of instruction to the level of rigor required by the standard to help our students succeed. If you have concerns with any of our current local curriculum documents or do not have adequate access to those documents, please do not hesitate to contact Instructional Services. Over the summer, we had the opportunity to begin training sessions with building steering teams. These were outstanding sessions and we will continue this process throughout the year. One of the motivations for this training was to increase our capacity to conduct action research on instructional strategies and use these strategies to improve performance in areas of weakness. To be an effective learning institution, all of us must be learners, and the purpose for action research is to encourage instructional risk-taking and professional dialogue focused on new strategies to improve our performance in critical need areas. This is a great adult professional learning opportunity, so please engage and take advantage. Of the many tremendous attributes of our school district, one of the greatest is our wonderfully diverse school culture. Having students and staff members from a wide variety of races, cultures, and ethnicity provides our students with an experience that is second to none in the state of Missouri. Our new CSIP recognizes this strength and seeks to celebrate the diversity of our district. Each of your buildings will be developing a diversity activity for first semester, so please contribute ideas to the process. It will be a fun and exciting time for our school family. During our CSIP revision cycle, a focus area for wellness was added to our updated plan. Recently, Dr. Washington led the first meeting of our District Wellness Committee, and there will be many new exciting avenues we will be considering to promote the health and wellness of the whole child. As you are aware, we have many students dealing with emotional issues, difficult homes, drugs and alcoholism, and a host of other significant issues that interfere with their ability to learn and be successful in the classroom setting. Through our wellness efforts, we hope to identify avenues to support students experiencing these difficulties and help them to find success inside and outside of school. Our district has experienced a significant transition in the conversion of East and Freedom Elementary Schools to K-5 centers. In addition to the K-5 grade level realignment, both buildings have implemented a house format whereby students will remain with the same group of teachers throughout their K-5 experience. While we are very excited to witness the transformation that will take place as stronger relationships are built between families and schools in the house format, the faculties of each building have experienced a huge shift in their daily routine, which can be very difficult when starting a new year. The great news is each staff has done a phenomenal job in this transition, and despite this change, our students have eased into a new norm at Easton Freedom that will be beneficial to their educational experience. Thank you again for the great start to the school year. Working together, we will excel as a community of learners embracing diversity and innovation.